geldings uh, totally uh, respected the thoroughbreds and vice versa. Uh, Emma and Jeremy and Viola were so impressed with these young actors. Um, and because I got real actors. None of the uh, young actors I cast are interested in celebrity or, uh, or the stardom uh, sort of addiction that's, that's coming out of reality television and all that stuff. These, these people are real actors. And they're also poets and, and artists. Uh, uh, Alden is an incredible painter. And all, uh, Alice is a songwriter who actually one of her songs is in the movie. And she's a poet. Uh, so they, they do other things. They're really extraordinary young, young people. And I remember one lovely story is that the first day Alden worked with Emma, um, there's a scene between the two of them, and after the first few takes, when we did the turnaround, Alden said to me, um, I just learned more about acting in 10 minutes watching her than I've done in, in three years of class. Right. And, the, and, and she was like, where are the children? She says, we have to hear the children. The children are so wonderful. Where are they? You know, we have to make sure they're fed. We have to make sure they're in the right hotel. And she was like Mother, Mother Earth. She was wonderful. Right. You're talking a bit about the music. Alice will have a song. In, in, yes, and, yes. We um, have an amazing, I'm so excited about our composers. Uh, Danny Harrison, George Harrison's son. Uh, uh, Paul Hicks, who's Tony Hicks' son, who was from the Hollies. Tony Hicks was actually playing banjo on our score. And Jonathan Sadoff, uh, who ha has done, he's the only one of them who has done a movie score before for two independent films. They have a group called The New Number Two. And they are doing our, they are composing our score. And it is, because I wanted something I never heard before. Uh, I've gotten tired of the, I just f lately feel like all these scores are, are very generic. They're like, there's no hook to them. They're, they sort of are all arbitrary and floaty. And, and I just wanted something uh, unique that I hadn't heard before. So we came up with this word, uh, uh, Swamptronic, uh, which is kind of, kind of a mash of swamps, <laughs> swamp blues, Dixie, and modern electronic music. But it's something you've never heard before, and I'm very excited about them. Okay. And we're going to be recording it at Abbey Road with dad's guitars and, and a lot of dad's stuff. So I'm very, it's very cool. And they are the most fun, creative people. Uh, they're just the best to work with.